YouTube, back with another video today, and today I'm coming at you with another banger video, my jean collection video. Now, this is my second time recording this because the first time there were some things that I was supposed to say, but I forgot to say it. And when I was just editing the whole video, the whole video just looked garbage. So that's why in the thumbnail, kind of looks like I'm wearing something different, but I'm always wearing a white tee, so uh, yeah, yeah. Because this video was supposed to come out last week for y'all, but I haven't dropped it. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, I do advise you to go subscribe to my second channel. It is in the link below. The camera looks like it's, uh, like it's tilted, so I'll fix it after this. But it is in the link below. But I have all my jeans right here. You feel me? And I'm still collecting more jeans. But let's get into it. Okay. So first jeans we have is these biker jeans. Um, haven't haven't worn these in a minute. Like these are literally biker jeans. I don't wear biker jeans no more. Haven't worn these in a minute. Last time I wore these was in this picture that I'm gonna put up on the screen that you're looking at right now. Is the last time I wore these jeans. Um, I don't wear none of my biker jeans anymore. But I do have a pair of biker jeans. I don't remember where I got these. But yeah. Next pair of jeans I got is some jeans that I was messing around with because they don't fit me. Like they fit. But I lost, I lost weight since the last time I wore these. So I was just like cutting them up because I got bored. As you can see, I just cut the bottoms. I don't wear these. They don't fit. But what I plan on doing, they're just some regular blue jeans. I don't, I don't know. I, I was bored, bro. But what I plan on doing with these is um, if you know how to taper jeans, if you know what that means, then that's what I'm going to do to them. I'm going to taper them and then I'm going to cut the bottoms off so then they'll look like... Um, they, they just gonna look raw. I don't know how to explain it, but they gonna look tough, all right? Uh, I don't know what the name of these jeans are. I don't wear these. I wore these like twice, and then I started losing weight, and they don't fit me no more. And if, you, if you've been cool with me in the past, you know I was a little chubby back then, so yeah. But let's get to the next pair. Next pair of jeans I got is some Paxson jeans. Paxson, Paxson. I don't know what the hell is they're called. There's some biker jeans again but these ain't too bad i would actually wear these these uh are called stack skinnies these are not stacked but yeah we do got some packing jeans i don't wear these jeans at all uh, that's the thing it my jean collection is literally just like my shoes i do not wear all of my jeans i don't know why i don't know why but yeah we got the packs and jeans right here none not too much to say about them Let's get into the next pair. Next pair of jeans we have is one of my favorite pair of jeans. One of my favorite pair of blue jeans I have in my closet, but I don't wear them. Like I said, I don't wear none of my jeans. Is these Diesel jeans. Got these from Diesel. Uh, they have like, like, this is how they came. They came cut already and they have like blue, pink, the pink on here. Bro, these are so tough, bro. These is like, these remind me of like dad jeans, bro. These are tough. I only wore these once. I only wore these once and I wore them when I had uh when I had these those those twelves, the cool gray twelves or whatever whatever they're called, the ones with the white and gray on them. I only wore them once with those and I never wore these again. But they're like, bro, look at that. These are like my favorite jeans, bro. I'm a I need to take flicks in these actually. I'm a, I'm gonna get a fire fit. And I'm gonna take flicks in these before the year ends, for sure. But we have some diesel jeans right here. We are gonna get into the next pair. Next pair of jeans we got is another pair of packs and jeans. I do not wear none of my packs and jeans. I don't know why. The actually, the last time I wore these was the beginning of the school year when I used to have my twist. If you remember me having my twist, uh, I wore these in the beginning of school year. These are actually pretty nice. I just don't wear them. I don't know why. I don't. I don't wear them. Like, at all. Whenever whenever it goes to me going to the closet and wearing a pair of jeans, I have like a whole select, like a whole row of black jeans. And that's the first place I look. And I'm let me get those. Let me put them on. You feel me? But, yeah, we do got some uh, packs and jeans. I do not wear them. Not too much to say about them. But let's get to the next pair. All right, next pair of jeans I have is these Levi jeans. Uh, as you can see, I only wore these once telling you i don't wear none of my blue jeans i don't know why no actually i, I wore these more than once yeah these these is actually tough um 
I wore these. If you watch the Walmart video, if you remember that video, the blue jeans I had bought didn't fit me. So I put these on. Then the day of my, it was uh, one year of my birthday. I think it was 2020. I wasn't my birthday. I was at some, I was somewhere and I had these on. So yeah, these blue ne uh, Levi jeans, not too much to say about them. They're very nice. Uh, let's get into the next pair of jeans though. All right. Next pair of jeans I got is the blue jeans that I got from uh, Walmart. I haven't worn these in a minute because they these have rips in them. And I'm not wearing ripped jeans while it's cold outside. You drunk. But the backstory behind these jeans is they didn't have rips in them before, but I ripped them because they didn't fit me, which is weird because these are a 30 30. I wear 30 30. So yeah, these didn't fit me, but I ripped them, cut them. They fit me now. They fit. They they fit actually nice. I like them. But yeah, I got these from Walmart for the Walmart video. I actually want to go back to Walmart and make another video, but it I have to spend a hundred dollars, hundred dollar Walmart drip challenge. Facts. All right. Next pair of jeans we got is these stacked jeans. As you can see, um, I wore these in the last the the. The picture that I just posted, I'll put it on the screen. Uh, these have stars on them. So tough. These are so tough, bro. Um, I got these from an Instagram brand. I'll put them on the screen right here, somewhere on the screen. They actually follow your boy on the gram. So go tap in with them. They, I'm actually on their website. So go tap in with them. If I was y'all, go tap in. I do plan on buying another pair of jeans from them. But yeah, we got these blue stacked jeans. Uh, now we're gonna start getting to the darker pair of jeans. All right, next pair of jeans I got is these navy blue True Religion jeans. I don't even wear Trues no more, but if if I ever want to wear True Religions, I do pull out these navy blue Trues, and that's because they're skinny jeans. Uh, if this was probably like 2015, 2016, yeah, I would still rock Trues, but I don't rock Trues no more. Like Trues are so out of style, in my opinion. But them True Religion stack jeans, I need a pair, bro. Those are so tough. True, those True Religion stack jeans are so tough. But not too much to say about these. Just uh, True Religion navy blue stack. I mean, True Religion navy blue jeans. These are very nice. Uh, I like how they fit. Like how they feel. But yeah, let's get into the next pair. All right, next pair of jeans we have is another pair of um, diesel jeans. I don't know if you can see it says diesel diesel industry that's what it says um these jeans are very nice but the thing about them is they slip off like they slip off my waist so fast and these are my size these are uh 32 these are a 30 32 these are a 30 at the waist by the way you feel me and they slip off my waist so i don't really like wearing them like that but they feel they're mad comfortable they're mad soft bro like these jeans is so tough bro got them from diesel um and yeah not too much to say about them you feel me next pair of jeans i do have is another pair of diesel jeans can you focus it's not focusing it it's a it says diesel on them this is another pair of diesel jeans hold on see if that focuses there you go these are some gray jeans now what i did was i did cut the bottoms so now they look like this because I cut the bottoms and they look so much better like this. Like, I promise you, these jeans are very nice, very soft. They don't slip off my waist like the blue ones. But out of all three diesel jeans that I have, these are my favorite pair. Um, and if I was y'all, I would go, I'll go, go search up diesel and get you a pair of diesel jeans because they are very nice. But let's get into the next pair. Next pair of jeans that I do have is these biker jeans that I do not wear and they got these zippers on them last time I wore them was like last time I wore them was freshman year when biker jeans were in style they're not in style no more but I don't even know I still have them in my closet they literally just sit there uh, I should I should give them away that's what I should do either give them away or figure out how to get the zippers off and get these lines off and then I'll keep them and wear them again. But 
no, nah, I don't. I don't wear these uh, biker jeans. I don't got too much to say about these. Some regular black schmegler biker jeans. But yeah, let's get into the next pair of jeans. All right, next pair of jeans I got. I only wore these a few times before I did what I did to them. Is some Paxson jeans. Yes, I bleached them. But there's a story on why I bleached these Paxson jeans, and that's because the point was to bleach some of the jean then dye them a certain color so they'll be black with uh, the color I dye them with. I was gonna dye them red. You feel me? That was the vision. I had the vision was amazing. Like the vision in my mind was so amazing. But then I bleached them and I never went to go buy the dye and I forgot. And it's been like two years since I did this. And they've been sitting in the closet for two years not being worn. But what I'm finna do is I'm finna just dye them black. I'm finna just bleach the whole jean and re-dye them black because they kind of look faded because I had washed them a few times. And if y'all don't know, y'all not supposed to wash your black jeans. Any jeans that you have that are dark color, do not wash them. If I was you, I would hand wash them so they won't fade, you get me? Not unless it's like a crazy stain in the jeans that won't get out if you hand wash it, then okay, that's understandable, but do not but do not like wash them because that will fade them. But yeah, uh, I plan on, I, I'm gonna bleach the whole, just put these in the tub, bleach the whole jean, and then dye them back black because I, bro, I, I don't, let's just get into the next pair of jeans, bro. Next pair of jeans I have is another pair of jeans that I don't wear, and that is because these are biker jeans, as you can see. Last time I wore some biker jeans, bro, I'm telling you, was freshman year. It was freshman year. That's the last time I wore biker jeans. I do not wear these jeans, but if there is a way to get rid of the lines or something, I will keep them. But as of right now, I do not wear these. They sit in my closet. These are most likely about to get donated to somebody who needs them more than I do. Because if I'm not wearing them, there's no point in having them. You feel me? So that's what, that's probably what the thing is. That's probably what, what I'm going to do is donate these to somebody who needs them. And you know, but yeah, let's get to the next pair. Next pair of jeans I got is these dress up pants jeans. You feel me? I, I only wore these like once, twice. Um, I don't wear them. I actually wore them like, I don't even know. But I'm keeping them because you never know. What if, what if I one day just feel like I want to dress up fancy, but I throw on a pair of Jordans with them? Or something. You can be like, damn, that fit tough, mo. Too, too, you feel me? Yeah, you know the vibes. But some black dress up pants. I don't got too much to say about these. Let's get into the next pair. Next pair of jeans I got is these R13 jeans. R13. Now these jeans have like a, they have like a wax denim type of feel to them, kind of look. These is actually pretty tough. And the thing about these is they're different, bro. Like look at the, look at this. Like, it has that, like, bro, you have to unbutton this to get to the zipper. Like, bro, that is tough, bro. These jeans are so tough. They are so different. They're made in Italy. I didn't even know about R13 jeans. I didn't even know these were a thing until I went to Saks Fifth. I seen them. I Googled R13. Uh, I, well, I bought them first. Then I Googled R13. I was curious, bro. R13 jeans go for, like, $1,000, bro. Luckily, I didn't pay no $1,000. But I was just like, damn, like, R13 jeans is crazy. I like wearing these with my Yeezys because of the simple fact that they have like that, like these are skinny jeans and Yeezys low-key look good with skinny jeans. Yeezy 700, so yeah, my R13 jeans. Let's get into uh, next pair. All right, next pair of jeans that I have is these jeans that have lines on them. They're black jeans. And the only reason why I still wear them is because you can't really tell that they have lines unless you look at hard as hell like you like, you feel me? But it is these uh, denim jeans. I don't know the name of them, but you you can see the lines right there. But like, if you're from far away, you can't tell. You feel me? Not unless you all up in my all up in my kneecaps and you're like, oh yeah, that nigga got that ain't got lines on the jeans. You feel me? But these jeans are nice. They fit very nice. They fit well. They go with all the shoes in my collection, and that's why I still wear them. You know? But there's not too much to say about these jeans. I do not remember where I got these jeans. I have bought these jeans. I don't even remember when I bought them. But, yeah, let's get into the next pair. All right, next pair of jeans I have is these jeans that I got from Target. If you've been 
subscribed since the Target video, you know that I got these jeans for that Target video. That that Target video, like, was, I had hella weird vibes that video. I don't even know why I dropped that. I should have just kept that in the vault, to be honest with you. But it is these um good fellow jeans, these skinny jeans. These are these are very nice. They look good. Why do they look so good on the camera? They like shining. But yeah, these jeans are very tough. I like these jeans a lot. They go with all of my shoes in my collection. Like the thing about them last jeans is they don't really go with my dunks, but these, these go perfect with my dunks, bro. That's why I like wearing these whenever I wear my dunks. But yeah, since I've said, got these from Target. Let's get into the next pair. Next pair, well, these ain't really jeans, but I consider they, them jeans is my cargos, my black cargos. Uh, Long story short, I don't got too much to say about these. I got these from Amazon for like $25, $20-$25. And the reason why I bought these from Amazon is because I went to Walmart. They didn't they only had gray. They had uh that military green type of color. And they had some 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 camo ones. I was like, nah, that's not what I want. And when I mean camo ones, they didn't have like the the camo ones, like the green camo ones. They had the gray and black camo ones. I didn't want that. You feel me? Then I went to Target same thing they didn't have them so i was like amazon's the only choice but i need to go to target and i need to go to walmart because i do need a gray pair of cargos i need a gray pair i want to um but i want them to fit like skinny on me you feel me like how I, my jeans fit but definitely i do need a gray pair in my collection but yeah amazon is where i got these go tap in go get you a pair if you've been looking for a pair but let's get into the next pair of jeans the last pair of jeans that i have is these black stacked jeans that I wore in the photo that I'm putting up on the screen. Um, these jeans are, I got these from um, that clothing brand, that jean, that the clothing brand I showed earlier that I said that follows me. Like I said, go tap in, fire jeans. You feel me? Takes about two to three weeks to get to your crib. You feel me? But, uh, I do plan on buying more jeans, so if I do a part two, you know why? I plan on getting like um, Life of Outsider jeans, like two jeans from them. I plan on ordering more jeans from that Instagram brand. I'm going to order some jeans from Minimal, you feel me? So there will probably be a part two in like a year from now to see the growth. And also, I'm going to be making some cape jeans. My clothing brand is going to have jeans, so it's going to be crazy, you feel me? But that is enough said. That is the video for y'all. This is my jean collection video. Um, like I said, I'm most likely going to make a part two in the future. And I'm going to start being more consistent now. I'm going to try to drop at least two videos per week. Maybe three on a good day. But I also do got my vlog channel now. So I am going to be vlogging more on that channel. So if I was y'all, go subscribe to that channel. And it's going to start getting hot. So I'm dropping bangers for y'all on both channels. So if I was y'all, go subscribe to. If you're new to this channel, subscribe. If you, uh, if you um aren't subscribed to my second channel, go subscribe, man. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see y'all in the next video. And I'm out.